almost $2 million is set to be cut from was gifted and talented school programs, with specialist arts school John Curtin College of the Arts and the state's top academic school Perth Modern the hardest hit. The cuts are among $64 million in education savings announced by the state government this week, a move that has left schools, parents and stakeholders reeling. From 2019, a total of 18 schools will have their gifted and talented funding cut by 25%. John Curtin College of the Arts in Fremantle will lose $350,000, while Perth Modern in Subiaco, the state's only academically selective school, will lose $225,000. In total, Perth Modern will lose almost $1 million from 2019 when a variety of its other funding sources are axed. Kelmscott SHS will have its gifted and talented funding cut by $170,000, while Churchland Senior High School's highly regarded music program will be reduced by $116,000. The move has sparked concerns for schools that this year catered for the 4,827 students from years 7 to 12 studying in gifted and talented programs. Western Australia Secondary School Executives Association President Jeanette G said she was dumbfounded at the government's decision. She said it was a double whammy for larger high schools that had already suffered cuts of up to $1 million in September when changes to the student-centred funding model stripped money off schools with more than 1,200 pupils. I have no idea where the idea has come from and it's a great shame. Perhaps someone has seen gifted and talented as an extra but certainly those students are students at educational risk, the same as students that struggle with literacy and numeracy, and that is why there has been extra money allocated to them over the years. It's important money, they are important programs, they do amazing work with students that may just be bored at school if they were engaged in suitable courses. She said schools were still coming to grips with the loss of money but principals had indicated they would share the pain across the general school community. Education Minister Sue Ellery said the funding for gifted and talented programs was provided directly to schools and it was up to them to determine how they allocated the money. She said it was anticipated the schools may look to make changes in the way they administered the programs. The $1 million hit to Perth Modern comes after it was facing relocation to an inner-city high-rise until a government backdown in June. Ms. Ellery said $567,000 per year in transitional funding for Perth Modern to become fully academically selective would cease from 2019, along with $140,000 per year for science and math subjects taught online and $8,500 for music. The minister's office said the school was very well resourced and pointed to a KPMG review commissioned under the previous government that found it had reallocated $1.4 million of transitional funding towards a new auditorium as evidence the money was no longer required. The decision to reallocate the funds has sparked a major schism between the school board and Principal Lois Joel, with a majority of board members calling for her dismissal. The board says it was not consulted about the plan to build the $10 million auditorium.